Hey, here's my new DK Power Chipper Shredder. I just got it at Lowe's yesterday, it was 700. Um, uh, after going over some of the details, I'm gonna start it on up and chip a few branches. Assembly was pretty easy. Basically in the crate, the engine, the drum, this platform thing down here all came as one piece. Uh, this was also on too. You just had to put on this bottom piece right here. You got to put on the top hopper, these four bolts, the handle, two bolts on each side. You got to put on this front chute right here, three bolts. And you got to put on this right here. And I believe that's it. My overall first impressions of the fit and finish on this machine is that it's excellent. I'll make some comparisons now to the little Harbor Freight chipper shredder. A lot of people know that one. It's been around for quite a while. Uh, it's red. The design is very, very similar and pretty much almost identical to this one. And one very impressive that I haven't seen on any other small chipper shredder like this, it's got a quick release for the drum. Some decent looking hinges. I hope they hold up. So the Harbor Freight one is just uh, bolted like this all around here. And anytime I would jam that thing, it would take probably 35 or 40 minutes to open it up and get the stuck piece of wood out of there and that was after doing it several times I could never do it any faster than that so I'm hoping that um, if I get a jam and I, I definitely will eventually it's it's gonna be very quick
Okay, after my first good session with this thing running it, I'm very happy with the way it works. It's basically about what I was expecting. It works great. I've got a much smaller pile of pine brush back there. That that pile was, was way bigger. Uh, I did spend probably a good hour and 15, hour and a half. Um, this machine makes you work for it. It's got a fairly small opening but it does seem to me like this is a bigger opening and also the the hole on the actual drum itself it does seem to me like it is a bit larger than the harbor freight one i know i keep you know mention harbor freight or harbor freight but i think that really is the best comparison for this machine um, I, I was able to get some pretty big branches in there as you guys could see i just needed to feed them really slowly you got to really hold on to that branch fairly tight and not let the machine pull the whole thing in because then it's going to stall if you've got a big old long branch in there. And when you're holding on to these branches, it does put some pretty intense vibrations into your hand. Um, not a problem for me right now, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And I always wear gloves with these things, especially this type of chipper. It does pull some of the branches out of your hand pretty quickly. And... Um, it, it it can hurt your hands a bit if the, you got, you know, rough bark just dragging across your hand really fast. This thing right here did not move at all during operation. This is a very nice design they've got going on here. Um, my customers, the, the shoot thingy, it moves around. It can be pretty hard to get it to stay in one position. I think the gas lasted, I think it lasted about a little over an hour for a full tank. So, um, I mean, it doesn't last all day, but I probably put a half a gallon in there or a bit more. Not too bad. And I forgot to mention a couple other things that come with the kit. They give you a bottle of 10W30 oil, which is no surprise. Uh, you got a fill point right there. And you've also got one on the other side, but this side is blocked by the chute, so you want to use the other side. They give you um, most of what you need to put the thing together. They, they give you a couple box wrenches, but I think you'll need like one other size 10 or something because you need a wrench on each side to tie these down. And they give you these weird canvas type gloves right here definitely better than nothing if this is all you have i realized i haven't said much about the hopper on top and i don't think any i put any sticks into it when i was chipping so i don't really care for this portion of these little chipper shredders i pretty much just feed everything into that almost entirely Occasionally, I'll use the top hopper if it's really thin brush. Um, there's exceptions, but what I find is that it's just really hard to get it down in there without catching on this stuff. This part is made for a very small brush. It says right here, they recommend no larger than three eighths branches. And yeah, it's just, I can get stuff in there part way and a lot of times just really struggle to get it down in there and if you take a larger branch and try to pack everything down in there you've got to be careful not to you know put the larger branch too far in there else it's definitely going to jam it so yeah i just use that part pretty much entirely show you guys the chips it made and it's throwing them a good 20 feet The pine needles, it doesn't grind these down much at all, um, especially if they're green. If they're dry, maybe a little. I, I haven't really chipped or, uh, or tried to shred a whole lot of uh, leaves with chippers in general, so maybe I can try it out sometime. I'm really happy with it. I needed something compact and light enough to drag up onto my truck, you know, with the help of some ramps. Now, if you don't mind having a much um, bulkier 
heavier and definitely a bit more expensive machine, I would recommend one of their larger models. And maybe you have, you know, you can tow it around with an ATV or it's not even going to get moved that much. So that might not even matter that much that it is heavier. The ones that my customer has, has a, um, it's a much, you know, bigger machine, but it's got a much bigger feeding chute. The engine is twice the size or more. I think it's got a 400 and something CC engine and this thing's 196. So the power is pretty night and day difference. And um, in that larger machine, some of the branches that I had to put in work today, smashing them down in here, with that bigger shoe and the, the more power, you can almost just throw them in there with the larger machine. But, you know, I needed something um, smaller, easy to move around, and it didn't hurt that this thing was only 700 bucks. Really like it. Okay, well, thank you for checking it out.